welcome to the you of how to my name is Charbel Tawil the goal of this channel is to create quick easy to follow tutorials on how to use some of the more popular educational technology out there so if you see anything you like in this video click on the like button consider subscribing if you do click on that bell to receive notifications for videos that come out every Tuesday and Saturday now that that's out of the way let's go find out how to create a virtual background in Google Meets Okay, let's dive right in. Uh, go to Google and search Snap Camera. And then you will have to download it for your PC or Mac. Okay, and once you have it downloaded, make sure that you open up Snap Camera before you open up your uh, Chrome browser to set up your Meet. Okay, and so I have opened up my snap camera and there's a little bit of a lag I can see that my voice is not matching my video so uh, you'll have to excuse that but I have snap camera open then I opened up my Chrome browser okay and now I will open up a meet and so the reason for this if you open up the meet first it will um, it will access your webcam before snap camera can access your webcam okay so uh, if I go back to snap camera here and I go to settings you'll see that it is accessing the webcam right now the built-in webcam for this PC if you have any other webcams like a USB webcam you can choose that as well uh, this is my cell phone as a webcam so if you're interested in learning how you can use your cell phone as a webcam I will make a tutorial for you so just leave a comment below if I have enough people comment on that I'll definitely um, make a video on that okay so I'm accessing the built-in webcam with snap camera right now and I can mention now snap camera is just an extension of snapchat essentially so you'll notice the same or similar filters backgrounds that you would find in snapchat okay and so since this is accessing my webcam you'll see when I start a meeting that it will have trouble finding my webcam so what happened is because I have I have done this before um, the the Google Meet application here has recognized that I want to use snap camera again so if I go to the settings here so what what might happen especially your first time uh, using this is the screen will stay black and it will basically tell you that it can't find your webcam or that the camera has failed so you'll go to more options and your settings okay and go to video and you'll see that this is where you have an option to choose your webcam okay and so again the first time you do this it's going to want to look for your built-in webcam and it will just say failed and so then you'll have to come into the settings choose snap camera and then it will essentially display what is being displayed through snap camera okay and so if I go to snap camera and change my background here so I have some favorites if you want to favorite one of these um, here, I'll just click on a random one space okay you can either click on the star that's down here this favorite there I am in space or if you click on this arrow to open up some options here there is a star there where you can favorite it okay and so once you hit favorites it'll show up right up there okay and you have some other options here um, not necessary for what we're doing here okay so I am in space you can tell that I am not really in space um, you know you have to consider that we don't have a, an actual green screen behind me um, we're not you know doing any professional video editing here so snap camera does a pretty decent job of of you know eliminating some of the background 
and throwing in its own background. Okay, so you'll notice if I move quickly, parts of my body, my ears disappear, my hands, you know, again, if you move quickly, you'll see it as a blur, sometimes even disappear entirely. Okay, and so it's not perfect, but you can still have a lot of fun with this. Um, and so you have your search option right there. You can search a ton of lenses. Okay, uh, I went through and found some odd ones, some fun ones. So one that I found for any Office fans out there, I found it accidentally looking for a professional background. And so I searched Office and we came up with this okay and so again you can see you know parts of the side of my head here a little bit of my hair is missing but you know it's still good enough to have some fun with right and as soon as I change my background snap camera the change is made in my Google Meet okay so you can see I'm in the office here if I go back to snap camera and uh, let's click on let's go outdoors you can see right away in my Google Meet, it's changed, okay? Okay, and this also works with screencasting. So if you are using, uh, it doesn't really matter, Loom or Screencastify seem to be the more popular ones right now. Okay, so if I have embed webcam, and I've done this before, select snap camera, and once you start recording, you will see that it will be embedded. So let's actually go ahead and show you. Okay, there it is. Now let's just click on entire screen and you can see there we are. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you know, maybe we'll find some use in this. Um, it, is, it is pretty fun and I think if you share this video with your students actually, um, they'll have some fun with it too. We know they like Snapchat, so why wouldn't they like Snap Camera? And who knows, maybe it'll entice some of uh, some of our students to actually show up to meets some of those that haven't been showing up uh, So if you did like this video click on that like button uh, Maybe comment down below. Let me know if you Try it out and you know how you liked it if it worked if it didn't work if you have any questions any problems any Criticisms. Yeah, if you like the video consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one